All right, back in the review today, we're doing the Red Zone Renegade or the NFL skins because they're all the exact same. The only way I'm able to review this is because my friend Matt, I'll put a card in the top right and his channel in the description. Um, I have nothing else to say. Bunch of styles here. I'm not showing them all, all of them. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. Let's get into it. All right, gamers, before you continue watching this video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check that description. Go follow me on TikTok. Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and check out my Discord server and everything down below. Now back to the video. All right, so here's the Red Zone Renegade or the new NFL skins we got, I think a year ago now. Um, pull out with the default pickaxe. So yeah, these are the new ones, quote unquote, because we got them like a year ago by now. Um, the originals, I don't think we've seen since um, like one other time they came back. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Because I did have one of them. I had the one that uh, was the, what's the, what's the name? Uh, I call him Jaguar. I don't know his actual like in-game name, but um, the, the default with the long hair, I had that one as the original NFL skins. I only bought it because the colors were cool and I liked the default. I barely know anything about the sport, so I could care less. But then when we got that refund that we could refund them, I refunded them. So I don't think they're ever going to come back after these ones, but We'll have to really wait and see. We can't really... No, I think the originals personally are better, but I think these have better like color going on. I think the default models suck here. I think the models here we got are awful. That's just a personal thing. But all these are the exact same. The only difference is the face model, which you barely see because the helmet and like the shield um, that block your eyes if you put that on. And then um, if you pick a girl or a guy. So the guy's gonna be a little bit more beefy. And then the girl's gonna be slender. But they're all basically the exact same. There's like real no difference in the models. Except the face. But like I said, you don't even see it. So it's kinda like pointless to even make a different version. What am I missing? No, the bandages. Bandages? Minis, fish, splash, slurp juice. So this is the Fortnite colors, I forgot to say that. I think this is the basic Fortnite colors. I'm not showing off every single one. That's gonna take me like probably an hour just to do. Um, so yeah, it's just not happening. But they all have, um, two styles for every team. It's like their home in a way. But no idea how accurate they are, so don't ask me that. Alright, glider. We have the normal umbrella. Forward. Back. Left, right, not moving. All right, all right, let's do some building. I'm gonna do dog shit here because this is not my account and the sensitivity is awful here. Like Jesus, how slow do you have to have your sensitivity? Holy. Eh, okay, not too bad, Never mind. Eh, I don't know, sometimes I'm like going right and it just doesn't, like what the fuck is that? Garbage-ass sensitivity. Whatever. Alright, let's do Primo so you can see the front and the back of the skin. See, so yeah, like I said, you don't see the face at all. Like, you barely can fucking see it. So it doesn't really matter. I think they should have added an edit style to take the helmet off instead of fucking put, like, what, the glass up? I think that would have been better. Um, to just take the helmet off entirely so you could at least see the face. Um, yeah, I know people like the helmet, but, like, it's an edit style. That's the point, you know what I mean? Um, but no, you don't get that. You only get the visor, which is so stupid. And if you take it off, you can see them better, though. Um, which I think I like more. I don't like the visor. I think it just blocks out everything. So if you don't really care, you don't like any of the face models, then you can just put the visor on and block out their faces. But if you actually want to see the character, um, then you can take this off. Um, and I like that little detail that they have the Epic Games thing there, too. Um, I'm going to show off one more style. We're going to do the Fortnite Away, I guess, jersey. 
Because I think that's how they structured it. I'll check in a second. I think I like this one. This one. So, it's a primal again. And I did take the thing off. So you see the face a bit better here. But like I said, I think they should have been an option to take the helmet off entirely. I think that would have made the scene a little bit more appealing. Uh, because you could get the colors and you would also get a helmet choice. Not too bad. All right, let me see if these are actually away. Um, alt. I, it's just called an alt. Um, I don't know if that means away. I know alternative, but like it could just mean like it's a different version. That one's cool. Um, but yeah, um, let's go into battle labs. I have nothing else to say about the skins, and I'll tell you if you should buy one of these. Let's do it. All right, so I'm about all this out. So should you buy one of these NFL skins or whatever you want to call them? The new football skins, the grinding gang, whatever the fuck you want to call them. They're the new ones. They're not the original. The originals are like more bulkier, and I think the models look better there, but there's less options with styles, um, like I said. But um, should you buy one of these? Um, if you like football, then there's no fucking brainer. I don't even know why you're watching this video at this fucking point. If you, you probably already bought it like when it first came out, if you like football in general. But if you don't care about football at all and you just like the colors of it, um, I would say kind of maybe skip on it. You want to know why? The only reason I said that is because you can't take the helmet off. I think that's the biggest problem with these. Um, you can't take the helmet off at all. You can only change the glasses, like the glass piece on the front, the visor or whatever. Which is so stupid. You can't even fucking see the thing. Like, the only way you're going to see the visor is if you do fucking Primo. Like, you can't, like, I have it off. You couldn't even tell if I turned it back on. Like, there's no reason to have that fucking thing on. Like, realistically, it should just be a helmet on, helmet off. Like, really, we don't need the visor. The visor is pointless. It's absolutely pointless. You can't go up there. Um, I think it's just stupid. I think they should add an edit style just to take the helmet off and put it on. It's not a hard edit style. So you can at least see the skin, and it makes it a little bit less bulky and kind of a less stupid, personally, for me. Yeah, I know it's accurate. So, yeah, if you want to keep the helmet on, keep it on. If you want to take it off, there's an edit style. You know, there's options. Just We need that option to take it off and put it on. Um, another thing is I've heard a lot of things where I think this would actually be cool. To put your like someone's name or your name or something on like the jersey itself, that would be sick. But that would never happen because Fortnite like would not let that slide. Because you could easily just like negate their maybe restrictions on shit you could put on like cock or balls or something stupid. Fuck you or something dumb. You know what I mean? You can't go up these things. Um, so I don't know how they would do that because you could just put cock, but with C zero. You know, you know what I mean. Um, I don't think they're going to do that, but it would be cool. It would be a really cool feature. I think it would be cool. Or they could have some presets. I don't know. Um, they could do something. But I, I think it would be too hard and too much customization to where they would be like, ah, that's too much. We might need to make these 2,000 instead of the 1,500. I think these are good steals, you know. You get a lot of good colors. You get a lot of teams here. The Fortnite teams, all the different numbers. I, you do get more customization here with the, than the soccer skins, 100%. But the problem is the helmet. That's my only issue with these because it's just, it's not too bulky compared to the original ones we got. But I think it's still a little bit bulky with the helmet. Um, if you want the less bulky skin though, you go with the girl. You know what I mean? Um, so you can go with columns with that. But like I said, I think this the helmet is just such a like obscuring thing. You know, you see it and you're like, that's the first thing you see. And it's just so big and bulky. Personally to me, that's just me. I'm just basing it off of Fortnite skin. You know, if you like NFL and you like the helmets, then... That's the point of a style, right? You can switch it on or turn it off. You don't need to use every style here, but there's tons. Even if you don't like the teams and you don't know anything about the teams, there's some really cool fucking colors in here that look really fucking nice. That is 100% a plus. And that's the reason why I bought the original NFL skin when they first came out. Um, but yeah, nothing else to say about these. I think they're good. Um, if you like the colors here, if you like any of the personal teams here, um, and you like that you can change the number and stuff, kind of like with the football skins that we got, uh, not the soccer skins, I said football, um, the soccer skins we got and the original football skins, which I think will never come back. So if you still have one of those, they're probably going to be rare. We're never going to see them again. So if you didn't refund it, yeah, it's going to be rare, but, um, yeah, that's really about it for the new NFL skins, the Grattering gang or whatever the fucking record team or whatever the stupid slogan is they use. Let's do an email gun show. I guess it makes sense for this. But uh, yeah, let's rub it up.